y'all. It's your girl out of mine. The one that lets her light shine no matter who it blinds. And I'm back with another video. My wig is not late, but I don't even care because I look cute like this. I think I look cute like this. I just got my golds. I got the top, but you know what? I don't even really like the top like that. I just prefer it like this. And I'm from the South, so I know a lot of people up North or out West or whatever, they may not be digging the goals, but I truly don't care because that's, you know, that's where I'm from. Which brings me to this video. <laughs> As you can see by the title, it is How and Why Conjure Chose Me. If you don't know what Conjure is, Conjure is what a lot of people call root work or what some people may call hoodoo. I don't really like that word, hoodoo you know because i feel like they trying to make it sound like a knockoff voodoo but it's really not like all of these traditions whether it be voodoo lukumi santaria ifa hoodoo which is southern root work everything is 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 mental universal it just goes under universal law like what goes up must come down so therefore any intention that you put out there you're gonna receive back i am manifesting what i want through the use of herbs and um fire and water and roots so um, i'm just gonna talk about a little bit i'm not gonna really make this long you feel me because i don't feel like it has any reason to be long so Pretty much how I got into Conjure is um, I know that in my past lives, I was a healer as well as a root worker. I was like a medicine woman. So I'm sorry, y'all. My phone, I mean, not my phone, my um, iPad died. And so I am going to pick up where I left off. So anyway, I know that I was a root worker and a healer in my past life. I was like a medicine woman not the past life right before this one but like it was it was a while ago it was a while ago but i do have women that came before me in my direct bloodline that were root workers and healers and i inherited that gift i found out about this gift about five years ago when i had just moved back to Atlanta from Houston and um, I just that's when I had first put up my ancestor altar and after I put up my ancestor altar I started having dreams and I started books started getting coming to me by different people and these books had to do with the different traditions and so once I found sticks, stones, root, and roots, and bones, I was like, you know, I know that my auntie, she was a root worker, and the family kind of shunned her. I knew that, like, my great-grandmother, um, she was a healer as well. So, but they never really talked about it. So, I must have this gift because, like, things just always used to come so easily to me. Like, plants, like, I have a really good way with plants. My sister does also. Like we can grow really good plants, gardens. Our green thumb has just always been activated. And once I started to read this particular book, I'm like, wow, it just feels, it just seems like so natural for me to pick up on these things. And um, as I started not really like doing things in the book but just by myself like i remember that i made um a prosperity oil but it was also a love oil as well so it was like two combined in one and i didn't need a recipe for that but it really worked so um yeah so that's how i really started getting into it and then after that i would just make certain things i didn't really get into like medicine until like two years ago my ancestors were speaking to me um through different situations that i should go ahead and start healing people well first healing myself 
because you cannot heal others if you cannot heal yourself if you are not working on healing yourself or if you aren't even interested in healing yourself everybody has something that they can be healed from whether that be, be from a broken heart or from bad money management skills or um, childhood trauma or past life trauma everybody has something that they can be working on to make them become a better person and a more healthy person in spirit and in the physical so with that being said like you know i knew that i had to heal myself first before i could start healing other people and that's exactly what i did i've been working on my womb as you all know for a really long time um my throat chakra was like one of the main things that i also really needed healing on and from and um my root chakra as well those like were the main things that I wanted to heal and I did I did and I am also continuing to do because this is ever going process you know so once I found out that I had the strength and the talent and the gifts to heal myself I'm like dang let me try to help heal other women you know I have friends that I'm really close to that don't even really think about healing themselves or didn't really think about healing themselves until I brought it to their attention and so they really follow my advice now, my direction now. Um, like you all know, I make teas for women and detoxes for women and so on and so forth. And I advocate for that. And so it's only natural that I'm inclined to be a root worker as well because I work with plants. I work with herbs. I work with trees and water and fire. fire. I work with nature. And that's all that root work is. Um, as well as, like I said in the beginning of the video, making sure that you put your intention into everything you do. And so with that being said, I don't want you guys to think that conjure or root work or anything else that people choose to do is an evil thing because it's really not. These are oral traditions, oral and written traditions that have been passed to us and through us generations and generations and generations your ancestors were root workers. There is no kind of colored person, you know, Asian people, Italian people, because Italian people back 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 in the day, you know, practiced Romani magic, Greek, Indian, African, of course, uh, Native American. All of these people had certain things that they did in order to heal themselves and heal the people around them. And they used the nature, they used their minds, they used their intentions to make it happen. And they did with the help of the creator and their ancestors and their spiritual guides and whatever 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 i don't want to go down a rabbit hole i'm gonna keep this short and sweet i just i don't know if you guys have ever wondered you know why i'm into the stuff that i'm into but that's why and i also do work for other people so if you are interested in getting work done for me just let me know. I do love work. I do court case work. I do um, peace work. I do binding work. I do unbinding work. I do cleansing work. I do prosperity and abundance work. <laughs> like really whatever you need. I got you. Um, and you know, I'm willing to teach as well. So y'all just let me know you know i know that i'm young but like i said i've been really into this for five years um i've been mentored i've been guided i've gone to classes like, i have the credentials but i understand if some older women feel like she's not old enough or she's not wise enough or whatever and age has nothing to do with wisdom i feel like you can tell by the way that i speak that i have a lot of wisdom if you follow me and subscribe to me, you know that I have a lot of wisdom. But I, I'm not going to sit here and say that I know everything. I know that I have a lot more to learn. I know that I'm going to grow so much within my gifts and my talents. And I know that I have been chosen to be a healer and a worker for a reason. I know it just didn't 
appear out of thin air. So, yeah. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment that down below. You already know what to do as far as the like and the subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and need y'all to do both up in this piece. Share my videos. Thank you guys so much for getting me to 1,000 subscribers. When I found that out, I was so excited. Just because when I first started YouTube, I didn't really think that my channel was going to grow that much. Like, I just started it to help heal other women and help other women and men and just talk about real stuff that was going on with me and, you know, the people around me. And just to know that you all love my videos, like, really makes me happy. You just don't even know. So thank you for just accepting me the way I am and just rooting me on to continue because, trust me, I have so much coming for you guys this year. And so with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Shine, let your